it's a wrap, it's a wrap, hey, it's a wrap. Hello, hello, welcome to It's a Wrap, where I help you achieve your finished look. Hell, makeup, nails, fashion, and most. Yeah, it's time for you to choose from what you would do. Hello, hello, welcome back to It's a Wrap, where I help you achieve your finished look. In this video, we are doing a pop-in product of the week, okay? So for our popping product of the week, we have two brush cleaners. Now this brush cleaner, I always use when I go live. And on, the last time I went live on Facebook, this brush cleaner was just giving me everything that I needed. So I told you guys that I was going to put it on my site so that you guys can get it. So, while adding this to my site, I also found something else that I want to show you guys. It is a two-in-one. It is a brush cleaner extravaganza, okay? So, you can use it while you do your makeup to clean your eyeshadow brushes off in between colors. And you can use it to clean your makeup brushes with soap and water okay so this is how it comes it's in a little teddy bear shape you can take the ears and everything out and on the back of it is a brush cleaner so i believe i showed you guys how i clean my brushes in a previous video using that black brush cleaner but why get two products when you can just have it all in one so that is why I decided to bring this product to my site for you guys and I absolutely love it. And in this video I'm going to show you how to use it. So here is a brush that I use for my eyeshadow. And you can see how I wiped the brush off on the black part. And when I wiped it on the white part that color wasn't there anymore. So this is great if you are using the same brush to apply your eyeshadow you can remove some of that product of that previous color off by rubbing it on the black part and then go in with your next color so here on the back this is what i like to do at the sink but for the purpose of this video i'm just using these two little containers one with soapy water and one that has clean water so I dipped it in the soapy water and I'm just rubbing it on the back and it has like a lot of bumps and grooves and all that. And what that is going to do is get in the bristles of that brush so that it can really get that makeup up out of there, okay? So you just keep doing that until the brush is clean, all right? That easy, that simple if you do this method you want to make sure that you're not dipping the brush all the way in the water or the soapy water you don't want to get any water down in the barrel of that brush so i'm not putting it all the way in the jar just to get the bristles wet so in order to clean this all you have to do is take the little sponge part out wring it out and I like to use the little sponge to clean the actual part itself the brush cleaner on the back and I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about so here you know you just squeeze that sponge to get the makeup out of there let it air dry pop it back in there and you can use it to clean the back So this is of course a lot easier if you're doing this at the sink with running water. But you guys get the gist of what I am talking about. A good test of if you're cleaning your brushes well. If you have brushes that had like the white tips on the end. Cleaning those really good will kind of give you an idea of how much cleaning you need to do. If your brush bristles are all black or all brown, sometimes it may be hard to see if all of the makeup is out of there. But when you have those white bristles at the end, of course, when it turns back white, 
you can see that you got all of the makeup out. So for this one, you do the same thing to clean it. And I use it to clean the inside of it. I use it to clean the lid. The lid you can use as a swatching area and I just clean it just like this. And everything is just good to go. So both of these will be available on my website today. So go on over there and grab you some goodies, okay? I have all of my glitters on there. I have my hair product line over there. I have my lashes on my site. I have a lot of things on my site. So definitely check it out. Now I'm going to go finish this up at the sink. And I'm going to show you what everything looks like. Oops, I lied. That is not what I'm about to do. So I'm going to do a few more for you guys on camera just to kind of show you guys how I do it. And then I'm going to finish up the rest at the sink. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys how they look when they are all clean. So here you can see how that tip has turned white again. That's what I was talking about. I love when those white little bristles are revealed. It just makes me feel like I really got in there and cleaned my brushes. This brush, when I go to the sink to really use some elbow grease and everything, this one will be a lot cleaner. But I just wanted to show you guys some different size brushes so that you can see that this brush cleaner will work well with any size brush. If you guys haven't seen any of my makeup tutorials, definitely check them out. I have a playlist that is full of all of my makeup tutorials. Lately, I haven't been doing any, but with school coming back up, I will be wearing makeup to school. So you guys will get some more get ready with me videos. Of course, for October, I like to do a lot of creative looks, so definitely put that in the comments below, some suggestions that you guys want me to do for my Halloween looks this year.
These brushes are actually from a brush set that I wanted to review for you guys that I got off of Amazon. So I might do that in one of my back to school makeup tutorials. So this is what they look like, all nice and clean. And I have had them laying here air drying for a while. So after all of my little cushions are dry, I just put them back in here and it is ready for my next application. So like I said, both of these will be available on my website and the link to that is always in the description bar if you are ever looking for it it's always in there and look how nice these look make sure that you let your brushes dry flat or upside down because we don't want that water to get inside of the barrel okay I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Always remember to keep God first, family second, and career third. And it's a wrap. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's a wrap, ay. It's a wrap, it's a wrap, it's a wrap, ay. It's a wrap. Hello, hello. Welcome to It's a Wrap, where I help you achieve your finished look. Hell, makeup, nails, fashion, and most. Yeah, it's time for you to choose from what you would dose. It's a one-stop shop. It's a wrap. Yeah, we do that. Go subscribe, hit the bell, leave a like, and just sit back.